crystals. What DARPA is searching for seems terrifying, and this is only the beginning. One of the most bizarre pieces of science to come out recently, the time crystals, is clearly the center of a new program at the DARPA Research Institute, the US military, according to dailymail.com, UK that is. And uh, the interest of the military in this strange state of matter is, of course, graded in the highest ranking of secrets. Strange matter, strange physics. Crystals are molecular structures that are repeated in space, and now two teams of scientists have discovered the repetition of crystal structures over time. The crystals of time, time crystals. It's not easy to understand, but fortunately there are examples that can make them understand. In fact, just as individuals are periodically arranged in space to form a crystal, they can also periodically arrange time to form a time crystal. These oscillate in a fixed repetitive pattern, meaning they could be used as an incredibly expensive watch or to find uh, use in, in ever-increasing quantum computer technology. Until very recently, though, all of this only existed on paper as a theoretical state of matter that even many intelligent physicists failed to understand how to transfer complex mathematics to the laboratory. That is until 2016. That's when a team working outside University of California at Santa Barbara managed to correct the theoretical problems in the initial work and came up with a way to create time crystals. And in doing so, however, they revealed something even more paradoxical. When a time crystal is pushed to a certain frequency, it does not respond with the same frequency. So if a laser was pulsating in the crystal every 10 seconds, it would oscillate every 20 or 30 seconds. Isn't that strange? The best way to describe it is to imagine two people holding on to one end of a jump rope, or, you know, as we do the skip rope, with a third person jumping up and down in the center. Usually each time the two twist their hands, the rope rotates once, and the face in the middle, the person in the middle jumps once. But with time crystals, it would be like two people twisting their arms three times, but the rope would only spin once. So the man in the middle would have to jump only once. It's kind of complicated. Now, according to the uh, formula created by UC Santa Barbara, scientists at UC Berkeley managed to make real time crystals, bring together a chain of 10 ytterbium ions whose electron rotations became entangled. Then they put two pulsed lasers in the chain and caused the ions to spin in a frequency sequence. And it's important that this repetitive pattern is doubled from the time the laser pulse started. In fact, they create time crystals. They essentially create a new form of matter. In addition, by changing the period of the laser pulses, they could change the duration of the pattern or the phase of time crystals. And do you understand? They, come, they can turn something into something else, like a liquid can be converted to gas, for example. The reason why DARPA is interested in crystals, the time crystals, is not yet known, and physicists themselves do not really know the full effects or applications of these time crystals which is one of the reasons why this experiment, quote unquote, is so fascinating, at the same time extremely secretive and um, very high tech. Now, what is DARPA? Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency. That is, it's the research service of advanced defense programs and U.S. Department of Defense responsible for developing emerging technologies for their use by the military. And as expected, the issue is particularly intriguing, and several conspiracy theories began circulating about what that the service has thought of using time crystals. Many believe that it will be very worrying and that it will overturn what we know in many areas, not only in military, but also everyday life and matter. And we have to note the idea of time crystals, the kind of material that is in motion, even in conditions of lack of energy, was first proposed by Nobel Prize winning physicist Frank Wilczek in 2012. And I've translated this for you from a Greek article, The Other Sika.
If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.